autistic! Four reasons why I'm not getting vaccinated. I'm still waiting for the other three reasons. Guess you forgot how to count. Anywho, what's going on boys and girls? Welcome back to another fantastic episode of TikTok Tycoon, the only show on the internet that matters. If you guys are excited to bleed out of your eyes, do me a favor, leave a like on the video. Let's shoot for 10 likes, but with that out of the way, let's get started. And of course, disclaimer, this video is for shits and gigs. Don't go out of your way to find these people on TikTok and harass them and send them hurtful messages. That's not cool. I don't stand for that crap. This is the dead grandpa challenge. I feel like this video is definitely sarcastic and 100% a bit, but let's just pretend for two minutes that this man actually just took a spoon and ate a portion of his grandfather. What the actual hickory dickory fuck, man? Like, I, I really hope kids don't take this video too seriously. Like, you guys know how kids are super impressionable, right? I don't mean to sound like a triggered libtard. That's not my intentions at all. I totally found this video enjoyable and funny, but if this is real and a bunch of nine-year-olds see this they're totally gonna try it. They're gonna find their grandfather's ashes and start fucking spooning it like the cinnamon challenge. And, and then you're gonna have parents across America demanding TikTok take responsibility when in reality it's the parents that should be preventing their kids from eating their dead relative's ashes. Fucking morons. <laughs> Excuse me, teacher. Could we please turn off the lights? The LED artificial light bulbs are harmful to my natural wolf eyes, which change color depending on my mood. What do you mean you don't believe me? They turn yellow when I'm happy, red when I'm really, really angry. Okay, I need to stop the video right here. It is way too long, and good God, the voice is super annoying. Let me just say this. I went to school with people like this. I went to school with people who claimed to be a wolf or some other fucking wild animal that they weren't. And people would say dumb shit like, Oh, my eyes change colors when I'm in a different mood. Like, my eyes would change to red when I'm angry and blue when I'm sick and I'd just be like, yeah, my, my eyes change brown whenever I have to take a fat shit. These types of people are nuttier than squirrel shit. Like, here's a PSA for anybody watching this that probably acts like this on the daily. You need to fucking stop and get some mental help. In washing and saving my BTS meal packaging. I really love BTS. The sauces were so good. It still smells like the sauce. A little sloppy, but that's fine. I will be washing the bag for later. A little bit of Dawn soap. I dried it for two days. You really love BTS way too much. I bet your name is Emily and that your hair is currently dark green, but that you're debating on dyeing it blue next. This is actually disgusting. That's how hoarding starts. You guys, you guys know what hoarders is. You've probably seen clips of the show on YouTube. I bet all of you always ask how the fuck those people on hoarders just accumulate so much bullshit in their house and refuse to let it go. Well, this is how it starts. It starts with a BTS McMeal from Mickey D's. Then it'll turn into some other useless garbage. It's basically just a person with nothing else to do with their life giving value to literal trash. Newsflash for every obsessive American out there who just thinks that BTS is comparable to Jesus Harambe Christ. Your BTS Happy Meal is garbage. Throw it out. It has no value. This person's mom apparently told them to throw the garbage out, so thank God there's a responsible person in that household with a brain. But I guess this TikToker fucking sold the BTS bag and sauce packets on Depop. For $35? Are you stroking my beef stick right now? You need some goddamn help, you human. So I saved this TikTok for last because I relate to this video so much. I also have a megaphone in my car, believe it or not. And in case there's a police officer watching this video, I don't use it. Now, if there isn't a police officer watching this video, I use it rarely. See, it's very rare when a random cracked out 16 year old or a recently divorced, short haired 52 year old blonde mother starts going ape shit on the road and somebody needs to put them in their place. At least for me, I'm pretty patient with other people on the road, so that's why I keep saying I rarely use it. If I get cut off at a horrible intersection that could have gotten me into an accident or worse, 
then I use it. And it's usually just me calling them a fucking moron, and that's basically it. I don't fuck around with the megaphone too much because one, it's not really the best way to go, two, it's really mean, three, it's probably illegal in some areas, and four, I don't want to get shot. With people driving under the speed limit though, I never use it. I'm pretty patient with people. However, I completely understand this person's frustration. I hate when people do 10 under. Like, if it says 55, go 60. Don't just fucking sit there dick in one hand, lip gloss in the other, and go 30. If you don't have the balls to go to the correct speed limit, then don't fucking drive anymore. See, I don't worry too much because, again, I'm pretty patient, and I also live in an area where people normally go super fast anyway. But, like, again, if you're going to do 30 and a 55, 20 and a 45, just don't drive. And that concludes today's fantastic episode of TikTok Tycoon. I am now going to snort a line of Gatorade powder and put my head through some drywall. If you enjoyed the video, then do me a favor. Leave a like on it. Let's go for 10 likes, subscribe to the channel, click the bell icon, follow me on all of my social links, and join my beautiful Discord server. Links are in the description below. Have a great day everyone, and remember to go the correct speed limit.